Today is January 30th, 2019. I'm Brent Nally, and this is a book review of Stem Cell Therapy, A Rising Tide, How Stem Cells Are Disrupting Medicine and Transforming Lives by Neil Reardon. This book was written in 2017, and I read this book in October and November of 2018, and this book got me super excited about the potential of MSCs, or mesenchymal stem cells. Other people pronounce them mesenchymal stem cells, but I believe they're called medicinal signaling cells because they were named by Arnold Kaplan in the late 1980s as mesenchymal stem cells. But over the last 30 years of research, Arnold Kaplan had tried to change the name to medicinal signaling cells because what these cells really do in your body is they send out signals like trophic factors and cytokines to get your other cells in your body to behave younger and more efficiently. So we're gonna talk about this book and how it's impacted my life and a review and a summary. The book starts off with Dr. Neil Reardon telling his story of his childhood friend's mother withering away in a hospital bed and sadly dying. This left a lasting impression on Dr. Reardon thinking that there has to be a better way to treat patients in a more humane way and get the body to heal itself and regenerate. Fortunately, his father was a physician, which led him to get into the medical field and start working on cancer research throughout the 1990s, which then led him to be very innovative in discovering the power of MSCs in the early 2000s. Dr. Reardon moved his clinic to Panama City, Panama, due to the government of Panama's innovative laws on stem cell research. If you recall, back around the early to mid-2000s, the Bush administration outlawed further stem cell research due to the misinformation on pluripotent embryonic stem cells and all the ruckus that that caused in our political atmosphere at the time which has set back the U.S. from research in stem cells compared to many other countries. I first learned of Dr. Neil Reardon on the Joe Rogan Experience YouTube channel. I'll have a link below. I highly recommend you checking it out. But basically, Dr. Neil Reardon was on there with Mel Gibson, and they told a story about how Mel Gibson's father, Hutton Gibson, was very close to death after a broken hip about eight years ago. Hutton Gibson was 92 years old at the time in a wheelchair, and he went down to Panama City, Panama with Mel Gibson and had MSCs injected into his hip and infused into his body. And long story short, Hutton Gibson is still alive today. Check the description below for a link to Hutton Gibson's Wikipedia profile. He's had multiple MSC injections and infusions following up for the last eight years or so to stay healthy. One of the reasons I'm so passionate about this information is because while Hutton Gibson is still alive in 2019, and that's miraculous, he's 100 years old, and the Western Medical Establishment told Mel Gibson that he was close to death eight years ago, everybody should have access to this treatment. And Hutton Gibson has still had to fly down to Panama multiple times a year for the last eight years to stay alive. And I want this treatment to be mainstream throughout the country and the world where you can go into your local doctor's office and receive this treatment. In the next few chapters, Dr. Reardon talks about how he believes the immune system has an innate ability to help your body heal. He also discusses how there can be certain defects in your immune system from a young age, and they can also develop over time through environmental and lifestyle choices. He also discusses towards the end of the book certain lifestyle choices you can make to improve your health and improve your immune system. But he believes that the body has an innate ability to heal and regenerate. So what do these MSCs do? The MSCs do three things primarily in your body. Number one, your body has an innate ability to regenerate and the MSCs help with regeneration. Number two, the MSCs help modulate your immune system. Number three, MSCs reduce inflammation. In chapters three through five, Dr. Reardon outlines his belief that many chronic conditions arise from a faulty immune system or a damaged immune system. He goes on in chapters six to 16 to outline a specific chronic condition for each chapter 
and how he has used various treatments and protocols at the stem cell clinic in Panama to treat and sometimes get close to curing or cure these conditions. Some of the chronic conditions Dr. Reardon lists in chapters 6 through 16 are autism, arthritis, diabetes, multiple sclerosis or MS, and many more, like respiratory conditions, so that would be COPD, emphysema, and there's others as well. And these are just specific conditions that Dr. Reardon has discussed in these chapters, but MSCs can, in my opinion, treat many, many other things. There's a common theme for each chapter in chapters 6 through 16 where we have a patient who's exhausted all their options in Western medicine and sometimes other alternative medicines within the US or other countries. And they've been told that their condition cannot be healed or treated anymore. Therefore, they're desperate and they're looking for any type of alternative to help them. And there's a common theme again where their family or friends or doctors or all of the above tell them that they're crazy and stem cells don't work like this and they're nuts, but they persist on because they're desperate and they have no other option. And they are going to spend their own money out of their own pocket to fly to Panama City in Panama to the stem cell clinic and do this experimental treatment. And each time we see the story of a miraculous healing Sometimes it's a full cure, but most of the time it's just dramatic improvement to where the point that these people can now live more of a normal life. And they're going completely against the grain of the Western medical establishment. And many times these doctors and friends and family are in disbelief when they find out that the individual has been healed. In these chapters, Dr. Reardon goes into detail on how his team at the stem cell clinic has developed a protocol on each one of these chronic conditions based off the patient's age, health history, and other environmental factors. In the last few chapters of the book, Dr. Reardon talks about a magic juice that he's created and take it himself, which is basically a specific concoction of the MSCs Dr. Reardon has had MSCs infused and injected in himself multiple times with great results that he discusses in the book and in other interviews you can find on YouTube in the description below. He then goes on to talk about lifestyle choices you can make to help with your own health and longevity. And then he discusses the legality of this in different jurisdictions and why he has chosen Panama and continues to stay in Panama for his stem cell clinic. And then he concludes the book with some insightful thoughts on the future of MSCs. This book was very fascinating and exciting for me to read. Along with reading this book, I also read Dr. Reardon's other MSC book, which I'll be doing a book review on in the future, and watched many of his interviews and lectures on YouTube, which you can find in the description below. At the Stem Cell Clinic, they do autologous MSC injections and infusions, which is MSCs from your own bone marrow or your adipose fat, and they also do injections of allogenic MSCs, which come from the umbilical cord, primarily the Wharton's jelly of the umbilical cord of healthy mothers. Healthy means that they've been tested and they don't have diseases. Reading this book and watching many lectures and interviews of Dr. Reardon on YouTube gave me the inspiration and confidence to get 300 million MSCs injected and infused into my body at Dream Body Clinic in Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico on December 20th, 2018. There's a link below to the YouTube playlist of all the different injections and infusions that I have that I hope you can check out. I'll also be doing a one month update every month. This book also made it crystal clear to me that I need to get my own MSCs extracted and cryogenically frozen. So I have booked this for my wife and I through a company called Forever Labs. We will be vlogging this, so stay subscribed to this channel to check out that content, which will hopefully be coming up in the next couple weeks. If you choose to get your own MSCs extracted and cryogenically frozen and stored through Forever Labs as well, there's a discount code below so you can get one free year of storage. This is a $500 value. As always, if you like this content, make sure you smash that like button, comment, and I will reply to all the comments. Share this with a friend or a loved one. And if you wanna take the relationship to the next level, 
hit that little notification bell so you never miss any of this valuable content I'm creating. All right, see you next time.